Hi, so welcome to Jory Land 1892. Uh, I'm at St James Park today. Uh, I've been having a little walk around the city centre today uh, just to see how things are going. People are starting to prepare, obviously, for Sunday. Um, well, it's, uh, it's a big, big day, isn't it? Uh, our biggest day, our biggest moment for 24 years. Uh, it's so important that we uh, we bring a cup back to Tyneside it really is uh, and you know my heart's in my mouth already just thinking about it now obviously at the start there uh, there was a tribute there to Christian Atsu who has now been repatriated to Ghana um, you know love to the family condolences to the family and uh, terrible terrible news uh, came out on Saturday and uh, to be honest Saturday's game for me oh, it was just all wrong wasn't it um, I don't know the day started really badly when I found out about Christian Atsu um, terrible terrible tragedy uh, terrible tragedy for 43,000 people who have lost their lives in Turkey and Syria um, just uh, thoughts go out to those people uh, and the Christian, Christian Atsu's family Saturday itself, the game, well, what can we what can we say? Our home record went. Liverpool are the only team really that have beaten us in the league. We've beaten us twice this season. Uh, lost twice to them. Uh, it was 12 minutes of madness, really, wasn't it? 12 minutes of complete madness. Um, quite uncharacteristically for us, our defence our defense, uh, basically left the gate open. And... Uh, you know, they profited and uh, two strikes uh, uncharacteristically like I say Newcastle's defence have been solid they've been amazing this season still the best defence in the league um, but we just went out of the races on Saturday and then obviously Nick Pope uh, before the game we were talking about Joe Linton and I was reassuring people that obviously even if he did get a yellow card he wouldn't be missing the Carabao Cup final. Uh, I did obviously say that it was only a straight red that would stop him uh, from playing in the final. Uh, little did I expect uh, that Nick Pope would be the player that got a straight red card. Um, it was just unbelievable. I, I, it was a moment of craziness and um, I feel sorry for the kid, he's not put a foot wrong this season, he's helped massively uh, to get us to this final and it's such a shame that he won't be there. I was in a trance uh, after that sending off, I have to say, uh, I just, I don't know, um, I was watching the game but uh, my head was elsewhere. I thought we gave a great account of ourselves, I thought even when we went down to 10 men, I thought Newcastle looked very dangerous and if we had have been able to get a goal back I think it would have been game on I think they would have panicked uh, it didn't happen but uh, you know we did show them uh, that we can we can play and uh, we were so unlucky I mean hitting the bar twice on St Maxim hitting the bar Burn hitting the bar and and obviously um, that early chance for Almiron I mean we were, we were out the traps from kickoff, uh, we looked much the better team for about 10 minutes or so. Uh, but wasn't it be? Wasn't it be? Uh, it was Bobby Robson's, what would it be, his 90th, 90th birthday. Um, great display from War Flags on Saturday as well. Uh, tribute to him. Now, obviously, Nick Pope sending off uh, was, oh, it was just mind blowingly gutting, wasn't it? Um, just you would know you couldn't make it up you couldn't make it up um, a lot of people have said that it's unfair that he, he can't participate in the final um, they've said it's harsh uh, it is a professional foul what happened and uh, basically it uh, it can't be unrectified really uh, people are talking about appealing and stuff like that it would just be nonsense really it's uh, not gonna happen um, Gary Lineker said that let him play, let him play. Keith Hackett also said that the rules should change, it was harsh. Uh, he said that he should be allowed to play really. Um, this should really 
you should be punished in the Premier League, not in the Cup, uh, especially when it comes to a final. Um, but they're not going to make a rule for one and not for others. Um, obviously, at the weekend, um, Man United should have had a player sent off, definitely. Uh, they got away with it. I don't know how uh, serious offence uh, tackle studs up and uh, straight into the knee. Um, you know, I thought Bruno's three game suspension, his red guard, was a lot less than that. Um, so Man United can count their uh, lucky stars there, can't they? But yes, Nick Pope will not be playing and it will be Loris Carriers. Listen, we've got to back the lad. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's done all right for Newcastle in the one game he played. Uh, hey, this could, it's written, it's written in the stars, I reckon. I reckon that um, he's going to save a penalty or something. He's going to. This is going to be redemption for him, uh, and his career is going to take off after this final. Um, let's hope so. I think we'll be. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be absolutely fine. I think the player that we've been missing most uh, in the last three games uh, is Bruno Guimaraes, and uh, he's going to be absolutely revving. He's going to be on fire. Uh, he's going to want to really put everything into that game on Sunday and uh, you know I think we've got a really good chance with him in the middle of the park me personally um, I, I would I would play Wilson is a and St Maximum from the start uh, up there uh, I really would uh, some people say well that's wrong because Almiron's played so well uh, he is dangerous himself but you know we have options um, but that's just a thought of mine um, as we gear up for Sunday, there's people travelling in here all over the place, people travelling down to London, people travelling to Wembley, the lucky ones with tickets, I'm not one of those, so I'll be watching it in Newcastle, and um, family are coming out, it's going to be great, going to be a great day, um, I just think that we've just got to be positive and I think we can do it, I really do. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's now and ever, isn't it, really? Uh, I'll say that, but I think we're going to get into plenty more situations, plenty more cups in the future. I think as we as we move on, we build, I think um, we will regularly appear in cup finals. I really do. Um, but it would be lovely to get that first one this weekend, wouldn't it, against Manchester United and pay them back for 1999. I was there uh, in the FA Cup and uh, oh, got it. I was absolutely got it. But uh, hey, that was a long time ago, nearly a quarter of a century ago. And uh, I think this team, if we can do it, I think this team can do it. Uh, it seems as if we've had a bit of a hangover since we got to the cup final. Uh, but this is a, this is the defining moment. Uh, now, obviously, Big Joe Harvey, he was the last man to bring this fella that trophy in 1969. That was the last trophy really we won and uh, this man did it you know um, let's hope that Tyneside will see a cup by Sunday evening uh, let's hope that uh, we don't have to keep clinging on to that victory in 1969 in the first cup and uh, how are you the lads uh, that's all really I've got to say uh, on this video I will be back during the week I haven't been around a lot uh, I haven't been very well so I haven't been putting much stuff up this was just a kind of on the fly video I happened to be around in the centre um, listen uh, from me keep at at Jodyland 1892 and, um, I will be back before the final and uh, you know wherever you watch it I hope you have a great day and I hope it's success I hope we're going to walk away with silverware. I really cannot wait uh, for that final whistle and hopefully we're running around celebrating with that cup and uh, just imagine when they bring that cup home and uh, parade it around the city. It would be amazing. Uh, dead dream. It could happen and uh, I think it is going to happen. But uh, anyway, from me, Jory Land 1892, all the best and uh, look after.